Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Macros are such a powerful tool in Studio One because they allow you to consolidate multiple keystrokes or multiple mouse clicks in just one command that you can always use in future productions. And because they can be so helpful and so transformative to your workflow, I'd like to present you today with three of my favorite macros that I consider quite game-changing for my workflow. Hopefully it's gonna be similar for you and here we go. The first macro I want to show you today is called Show Tracks with Events Under Cursor. And this is especially handy if you're working in a big session with lots of tracks that are not playing all at the same time. Like for example, in this production, you can see there's a ton of tracks here before and after bar 45 that are not relevant to the section that I'm currently looping here, which is the rap bridge. And so there's not really a point in showing all of them because I'm not currently working on that. So it would be great if we could show just the tracks that are currently playing, which are mostly these down here, and maximize those on our screen while hiding all of the ones that we're not currently looping. I wrote a macro that helps us to achieve just that. And let me show you how it works. So just gotta hit play here. And if I just want to see the tracks that are currently playing, all I need to do is hit my keyboard shortcut that I've assigned to this macro. See? And now all the tracks that are not part of the section that I'm looping are hidden. I find this incredibly useful and it also works really well with another keyboard shortcut that comes with Studio One and it's called Undo Visibility Change. So once I've done making all my edits here and making all my mixing adjustments, I can just hit the option plus number key that I have assigned because that's what I assigned for Undo Visibility Change. I'm gonna show you this in just a second, but now I'm basically back in the overview that I had before. So if you find this useful and you're interested in trying this in your own productions, then head over to the Studio One browser to the Clouds tab right here and double click on Personas Exchange to log in. This is the space where you're going to find all of the macros that I'm presenting you today. And then all you need to do is search show tracks with events under cursor. You can probably also just search show tracks with events and it should show right up. And then you're gonna see this macro that I've created and you can install that with a click on the install button down here. It says update for me because I'm already using it. In your case, it would say install. And once you have it, you should find it right here in the macro organizer. Just click on the Studio One menu item, go to macro organizer. This is our brand new macro organizer that finally comes with sortable tabs and assignable shortcuts right from here. And then you just type into the macro organizer once again, show tracks with events on the cursor, it should show up and then you can assign your shortcut right from here. I've used eight as my shortcut of choice and I've combined that with undo visibility change, which is option and aid or alt and aid on Windows, just to revert that visibility change and make all those tracks that I'm currently hiding visible again. Now, this is especially powerful if you also select the console option. You find that when you click on this wrench icon here in the mixer console to link visibility of track list and console. When you do so, then you're also hiding all the mixer channels in the console that are not part of the section that you're currently mixing. And this just makes for a lot less faders to manage and keeps your session nice and tidy overall. So hopefully you're gonna find this useful. If not, then maybe the next keyboard shortcut is going to be for you. And for that, I'm gonna switch to a production that is in its early stages. I just laid down a couple of drums here for some techno. And let's say I wanna add a bass line to that right away. It would be fast enough to go to Studio One's browser and just search for the preset that I want, but I prefer to just do it from a keyboard shortcut like so. And then I can start playing right away. And then I love to open up the track inspector by clicking on the eye here, hit retrospective record. That just recalls what I just played and I'm ready to arrange further. And notice that this new instrument that I've just added with a keyboard shortcut also 
directly inserted a low cut for me, which I find very useful. And if you want the same command, which you can of course also customize with your own instrument, so that you could add like another instrument, even a third party virtual instrument instead, then you can just go to the clouds tab and search inside of Poisson's Exchange for add my tie. This should show you the add my tie with a low cut macro. Once again, you can install that with a click on the button down here. And if you go to the macro organizer, once again, like we've done before, then you'll find this macro right away. And with a double click, you can completely edit that to your liking. So if you don't want to insert the my tie here, you can just double click the add instrument to select a track command entry, the second one, and add another instrument of your choice. Like I said, it could also be a third party instrument like the you he hive, could also be kick two by Sonic Academy, or any other instrument that you can imagine. And yeah, you just search the preset that you want to assign. And uh, once you have that set, you just assign it to a keyboard shortcut as I have, and you have a, an amazing way to insert your instruments right away into your productions. I find this incredibly useful. Hopefully so will you. And the third macro is hopefully useful for anybody, no matter if you're using virtual instruments in your productions or not. This is completely independent from that. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this one. In this demo here, I have a couple of different tracks. For example, I have vocals with a bunch of layers. I have a track here with automation on it, and I have a folder track. And by default, you have three different hotkeys inside of Studio One to expand or fold, meaning to show or hide these different layers and levels of your tracks. If you want to do that all from the same command, it's not really possible unless you're installing the macro that I'm about to show you. And then with just one keyboard shortcut, you could show or hide any track and its levels, no matter if it's a folder track like here, if it's an automation track like here, or if it's layers inside of your vocal track or guitar track, right? So if you want to have that macro, once again, we go to Studio One's browser, we go to the Clouds tab, we go to Personas Exchange, and then we use the search bar here to find expand forward slash fold. And this should show you expand full track. This is the macro that I've added here. You can install that with a single click. And once you've done so, simply assign that to a keyboard shortcut, either directly from the keyboard shortcuts menu or from the macro organizer. So you just open this up, you search the same name once again, it should show up right here. And then you just assign that to anything that you want. In my case, it's K because that key was still available on my keyboard. And I like to use single binding keys for commands that I'm using a lot, all the modifier keys I use for commands that I use less regularly. And then it's always the same button, no matter which track levels I'm trying to expand. So hopefully this is going to be useful for your workflow in the future. Hopefully at least one of these macros can enhance it in some way. And thank you so much for your time today.